Hello, will you be my friend? This village scary and I need a hug. I love this thing's face. Welcome back to Resident Evil Village, everybody. Last time we finished Castle Dimitrescu, put the lady herself on ice. Yep, sorry everyone, Big Booba is first to die. And now we're trying to get a hold of someone. We've learned some really messed up truth about what they've done with our daughter, Rose. And now we're being led by the Duke to speak to someone who can enlighten us with some more information on what the cinnamon toast frick is going on in this town. I did a little bit of exploration in between episodes before moving forward. So as you can see, I found some new items, a teddy bear. I uh, also found this in the same place, actually. It was, uh, where was it? I don't think it shows. Oh, yeah, here. Okay, so it was the basement of that house, which I'm pretty sure was not open before, because I'm pretty sure it was boarded up the first time you come through here, but it was just open by his thing, and I was like, wait, have I been in here? I also got some more poultry and fish, and also realized that if you kill all the animals and get them, it put X's out them on the map, so went back and found a chicken I missed. Went back to the Duke to uh, check out the uh, upgrades for the new handgun we got. At present, even if I upgraded it, our starting handgun is still superior. So until we find a custom part to equip onto this thing, it's going to be outclassed by the Lemmy. And well, let's do a recap what with how crazy stuff got before. I can't find Rose anywhere in this damn castle. Perhaps she was never here to begin with. Or maybe she's being kept somewhere else. Either way, there's no reason for me to stick around. Now to escape. Noon. That woman Dimitres turned into a monster, but I was able to kill her and escape. I found this strange flask. She said, You'll never see your Rose again. Why can't I get that out of my head? Rose's body is in these flasks. Who the fuck would do such a thing? My brain can't keep up with everything that's happening right now. The Duke did say there was a way to save her. It's hard to believe him, but the only thing I can do is apparently live the ma ask the man that lives in the house with the red chin me. And there's a recap of what happened in the last episode. Now then, onward we go. To reach that big chin me... Oh god, here we go. I knew something was going to happen when I passed this tractor. That's why I was like, this is a good cutting off point. Gonna have to ask you to stop, sir. Auto saved, good sign. No. Bitch! Man, the lichens are the worst freaking enemy. The first thing you deal with in the game, they're the toughest a-hole so far. And I am now without an aid med, so we're gonna get, make one. Just have it ready to go. So, yeah, this is the house I'm trying to get into. Is there anything back here? Oh yeah, that door was locked. I can... So, I can go back around and probably unlock it. That might be a good thing to do. Someone took some eggs out and smashed a lot of- <sighs> Scared the shit out of me! Oh, it was just a pig. Sorry, but damn you! Okay, well we got a new type of meat that takes up a lot of space. Cannot be used as is. 
Man, what do I do with the meat? That scared the fuck out of me. I thought it was a new type of monster. God. Hello? That looks like a first aid med bottle. Man, yes, yeah, something came through here and ruined all the food. And yeah, the, the, okay, that was for a lockpick. This box wasn't here before. It's a booby trap, isn't it? Huh! Come on, Ethan. Pick it. Pick, pick it up. Pick, pick it up. Okay, that was, one was weird. Oh, God, my heart still. That pig legit scared the shit out of me. Oh, my God. That son of a bitch. I mean, I killed it, so... I guess it paid for it, but... Still, it just being a normal pig, I feel bad. But also... Do not do that! There are freaking werewolf monsters and I am on edge. Oh yeah, my brother is terrified to shit of werewolves. I should make him play this. When it comes to like... Weird specific shit you're afraid of, that's like his big phobia. Hell no, not dealing with you. Alright, that's gonna get attention. Line him up! Yeah! Oh, you're still alive! And now you're not. They've torn open a lot of walls and stuff since I last came through here. So I need to keep my eyes peeled for new paths. No wait, it's not this house. It's this house I'm trying to get into, right? Oh, is that where the iron insignia key is going to get me in? What are you?! He's got fucking armor! What the fuck? Oh my god, you're sturdy! Dude! Oh fuck. This dude's like boss levels of tough. Fucking die! Jesus! Go down! I wasn't supposed to fight you, huh? Oh, he does eventually die. But he was not worth it. Perfectly preserved crystallized remains of a lichen. Ok, 
Okay, next time I see one of those, we fucking run. To whom it may concern, do the Uthier's long absence, I'm keeping hold of his house key. Please find me if you need it. Regards, Joseph Simon, Beneviento's gardener. A violin mark. I'm waiting for one of these outhouses to have a monster in it when I open it. Oh, go. It's like, what's that noise? You know what? Use the currently weaker gun to shoot those. Bitch. What? Ow! What? I okay. I guess you can't block when you're crouching. What? I block- Fuck! Jesus! You fucking dick! Shotgun seems like it kind of sucks ass in this game. Part of a doll based on a local legend. She ain't got no head. Fucking Christ, these things suck! I hate them! The chickens that were here at the beginning are probably long dead, aren't they? Well wheel. Okay. Could finally start checking those out. Still marking chickens there. Hmm. There was a lockpick in that first house. Oh. Over here. Sorry, bird, but items, video game, give me. Large crystal. Again, the fuck did you eat? Desire your flesh. I know better than a beast. Oh, here. Well, I guess I'll run back and pop open that one counter. Let's see what was in drawer number one. Wait, no, it was in this room, wasn't it? Yeah, beneath the 
half whole flour. Rifle ammo, take that. Get my OCD in order. And we're finally getting into the house we need to. Front door is probably locked, huh? Yeah. So we're going in through the roof. I, I don't feel like there's anyone left in here, but... Alright, Duke. What are you hiding and refusing to just tell me straight up front? You're helpful, but at the same time, go fuck yourself. Whoever he is, he's turned. He's also floating a bit? Oh, he's got his foot stepped on a body. February 1st, sacrifice two goats to Mother Miranda. Third, offer wool to Mother Miranda. She instructed I find her a list of drugs and tools in the next few days. What for, I wonder? February 8th, no messages from Mother Miranda, yet the livestock won't stop their ruckus. Ninth, I was instructed to take the items to the cave church at sunrise, but what I saw was frightful. The great four lords were there, and Mother Miranda was holding a child. She whispered something and touched the child. I can't explain it well, but the child turned into a white crystal? Then... Then she... I couldn't help but speak up, and I asked her why she did such a thing. Mother Miranda just smiled at me. This is the chosen child. She will return to her original form, no matter what befalls her. Then she gave each lord a part of the crystal in a flask, and they left. I forgot to bow to Mother Miranda before I fled. I'm still shaking. What did she do? What is that child? The winged key is just a single piece. Three more parts are needed to make it whole. Ah. Damn it. Better see the Duke again. Okay, there's now more crap I can open, and also, yeah, there's all these wells I can activate. Oh, why didn't I do that when I was down there? Animal head. All right. Okay, he does take it back. Wooden goat. Like it was used in rituals. Um... 
This isn't the way. Yeah, I can cut through that building. Was it this one? No. Where was the cut through point? Was there not one here? No, it wasn't there, right? Oh, it was to my left. Blinded it. All right. Here we go. What's behind well number two? Lockpick. There wasn't one beyond the workshop. Oh, we gotta go through the fallow plot. And there was a lockpick thing here. And the four-winged gate. Okay, okay. So then. I'm gonna go back in that house, pop open that counter, go check out that well. A lot of ground to cover. Why'd I go this way? Did I check this one? Wasn't there a lockpick thing in here? I mean, it's marked blue, so I guess they were good. Okay, I can go back under here. those bat fuckers flying around here. Yeah, it's all the way at the end. Oh yeah, it's behind where we met Elena, right? Yeah, that was her name. Alright. Maybe if I stick low in the grass, these things won't aggro. But also there's more scarecrows here now. Scarecrows that aren't scarecrows. <sighs> Nope. They're coming from my ass. Oh god. I'm not safe here. Bitch! Oh, there's so many! Damn, what is this pig made of? There's something very wrong with this pig. I can like see it's kind of veiny. Quality meat.
Was that three pipe bombs? Good lord. I need to use one of those and free up some space. From a pure white pig. Whoa. Should I hold off on picking those up? Louisa's necklace. Large chunk of white crystal. Oh, this is a key item! Dirty with ash. Oh. The necklace stone. Necklace with key! Necklace the jewel removed, which has revealed a key inside of it. Louisa's key! Jeez. Any other, uh... Crazy things? Necklace stone, precious stone that fell from Louise's necklace. I don't think we're getting back in there. Louise's heirloom. Hey, I wonder what this pops open. I'll take explosive rounds for now. Magnum ammo, damn! All the good shit's here. Okay, I'm still in the green. Checked off grenade launchers, explosive power, hits a wide area. Fancy case. 50 caliber magnum cartridges, packed with powder for a powerful shot that can pierce most armor. Oh yeah, didn't it say the rifle can pierce armor? I should have shot that one asshole in the head, shouldn't I? And pierce most armor. Fuck! I should have been going for headshots with that. Maybe that's why that thing was so... That's what I was supposed to do against the armored a-hole earlier, wasn't it? I could have actually headshot him with that. Okay. We've got us another well over here. I'm going to be selling a lot of crap to buy that extra inventory space now. Necklace with two holes. Orient necklace made of pure gold so they can fit in the depressions. Do not have any of the other pieces. Very ornate. Uh, what's the way back to the Duke? All right. Jeez, well, I'm kind of glad we went to the field now. Quite a lot of goodies over there. Although, when am I getting those weapons? How long are these ammo just going to take up space? Oh. How was it? Did you learn anything? I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this like you said you would. Settle down. First, you must use that key and collect all of your little roses flasks. Where are the rest of them? There are four in total. You have the one, and the other lords have the rest. 
Lords? Mother Miranda is the cold, calculating ruler of this village. Four lords serve under her. The first you've already met, the Lady Demitresque. The second lives deep in a valley of mist, the Dollmaker, Donna Beneviento. The Bat Lord, the Weaver. None of her playmates have ever come back from that dank old estate. The third is Moreau, a being of twisted flesh that lives in the reservoir past the wind. The Fish King. It is said that he is not the only monster that lives in those waters. The fourth and most dangerous is Heisenberg. The Iron Steed. He works in his factory on the village outskirts. And the project. Let's just say parts of the human imagination are better left alone. So now my targets are marked. He's also marked very interesting. Ah, thank you, Duke. Riverbank Treasure House. The entrance to the castle. Dimitrescu defeated. Beneviento. Beneviento's treasure. Moro and Moro's hidden weapon. If you truly wish to save your daughter, you must first gather the four flasks. I'll do you a personal favor. I've marked the Lord's locations on your map. I guess you don't like them very much, even though you do Some business with them. Some still lurk in this village. I'm sure each one will prove of great use to you. Why are you doing all this? Why, it's all part of our first-class customer service. Uh-huh. Please do come again soon. You're way too fishy. I don't trust you. Oh, good. I was just. But damn it, you're useful. Yes, I have you. Give Find grease. some quality ingredients and bring them to me. You kill it, we cook it. This should be enough. Just go ahead and sell this, huh? Can't be combined. You get your hands on such a thing. Oh. Poultry. Health permanently increased. Damage taken when guarding decreased. Permanent health boost. Need one more beast meat. Delicious patties made from poultry, fish, and meat. A luxurious and nourishing local dish. Just one bite makes you invigorated. Hearty dish of poultry and meat cooked in rice and stock into a solid meal. Enough to make your entire body feel more sturdy than before. Herb fish. Flaky yet succulent baked herb and breaded fish. Enjoy the hearty meal for more health. Savory stew. Made from the juicy meat of a rare bird found only in this region. Fabled to enhance one's vitality. Juicy game. Kyorba de pork, a flavorful broth soup made with high-quality meat from a creature found only in this region. Protein-rich for turning boys into bastions. Okay, so that's what the white pig is for. So, these are for stat boost. Finest fish, superior cabbage roll stuffed with rare fish found only in this region. So light they make your body feel almost weightless. Movement speed increased. And then it's kind of slow. Don't let up yet. Thank you. How to cook? Finished. I'd love for you to enjoy as well. Health increased. 
I wouldn't I mind having that, that again. All right. Ah, thank you. And that takes it out of my inventory to free up space. Okay. Uh, guard boost, movement speed boost. Not 100% sure what I want to go for next. Well... Don't let up yet. Can fill that up. Carry on. To hunger. It is to be alive. God created man's back to carry burdens, but to think you want to pile on even more. <laughs> so yeah, 150 plus 30, 180. And this goes to 170 currently. Until we find some custom parts for that, you are superior, Lemmy. If I sell it, will the buyback, because it says you can buy your stuff back, will the buyback price be the same as what I sold it for? Or will it be more? Leave this to me. One moment, please. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons. Have a wonderful adventure. Let's find out. Okay. I save. If it's just looking, window shop away. All right. Uh, all right. The nineteen eleven, twenty five thousand ninety sell price. You no longer need this. Pay me no mind. Oh! Ouch! That's a huge markup! Eat my dick, Duke. Okay, that answers that question for you. Oh, God. Whew. Okay, I guess I'm just going to hold on to this handgun until we find a part for it.
Oh, that's a rough load time here. There we go. Oh, okay. Sir Rose was divided into four flasks and given to the four lords. Dimitras, Kadana, Moreau, and Heisenberg. I can save her if I get all four of these. I still don't trust the Duke, but he was right about this one thing. Time to get my daughter back. You have no way to cook some ingredients and use them on your own. You can trade them for something else. Ingredients to do because you have them. Heal recipe. Heal cook you a treat. He'll hold on to any ingredients until you have enough to complete the recipe. Okay. And now yeah, we need a key to get into there. This is locked up. Four winged, but four winged unborn. That's being marked as something different. So can I not get into there yet? Wonder what Louise's key is for. Hold up. This is a hunch. I have no idea. But it kind of reminded me of the gate on that little shrine near her place. Hmm. You can't examine this or... Claudia. Huh. Interesting. Oh wait, do I still have... Yes, I do have the wheel still. So, while it's not a well, it does look kind of the same as the contraption on them. Could I activate this bridge with this wheel? Nope. Alright, it's something else. It was worth a shot. So, I think the puppeteer is next. Was it? Beneviento. Oh, creepy dolls. No. I mean, duh, that's her kind of her shtick, but oh, I don't like it. Oh, I hate this. And we know that she has that weird doll that she controls. Bert! Oh, I hate this. I hate this. I hate it. So I love it because I, I like spooky shit, but oh, doll. Dude, I don't know. There's just something about this weird porcelain esque looking dolls. It's just. Ugh. Potter's Field. It looks like there's a bridge that way. 
This is like a dead end. Fuck off! It's your favorite thing! Disappointment! Something bad's gonna happen here. Something very bad's gonna happen here. Oh god. Oh god. Go, 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 go! Oh, there's another one. Okay, bad thing's gonna happen when I try to... Oh wait, that one's completely already fucked. Never mind. Don't fall for it, Ethan. Come with me. There's something I have to tell you. Mia? What's going on? Okay, let's say I can't equip my weapons again. There we go. Wow, he won't put it back. Okay, there he goes. Rose feels different. Ethan. You have to fix her. What the hell is this? What was her name? Donna? Fucking with your mind? Everyone leaves me. Even Rose. I don't want to build. This can't be real. It's not, Ethan. It's not. It's like what Evelyn did with you near the end of the seven. Fucking with your head with hallucinations that she can apparently materialize the control. But if you believe it's real, they can hurt you. Your own brain does the damage for her. A Beneviento, 1987 to 1996. Freed from the birds of flesh, she now walks the valley of death. Am I losing it? I mean, you probably are with all the shit you've been through. Give up your memories. Oh, no. Well, I guess we finally know why we have this. Okay, are we back to reality? Come with me, Ethan. No, I don't think I want to! It's a long elevator. Are we even going anywhere? There we go, Jesus. Here it is, her estate. Cool ass view with the waterfall. God, that must keep you up at night and make you have to pee constantly. House Beneviento.
Can I break her shit? Hi. I can't get you through there. Fine. Right, in we go. <sighs> Fairy Tale Monster Two, the Weaver of Fate, was it? I can't break that. Let me destroy her shit. Again, though, nice house. Oh, there's a treasure chest in there. can't destroy her decorative plates. We are only allowed to break Dimitrescu stuff. <laughs> Creepy thing. Don't like you. Bitch, I can't read this. Books. <laughs> mm, this hallway is a bit less nice than the rest of what we've seen. Let me break your pottery! Oh, into the basement, huh? No. No. No! Fuck this! Check the second floor. Alright, it's a big batch of nothing everywhere. Down into the basement we go.
Oh, there is an item in the floor? Oh! That is the same door. How do you unlock it? Hmm. But downstairs. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So there is something here. Is it counting that? Which I clearly can't get to yet. Check under shit. Getting slight RA1 vibes from this place. Except nothing crazy has happened yet. Okay, then. <sighs> Down we go to deal with the second lord. On the next episode. So, we shall start that fight then. Until next time, everybody. Have a good evening, and take care of yourselves. <sighs> it had to be fucking creepy dolls.